On today's episode of Glow Trotting with Trey, Elvis Presley's friend Ronald Smith shares a story of the time that he went to Graceland before Elvis even had furniture inside and learn what they did that day in 1957. Also, guys, you're going to learn more, but I want to tell you this before we get to the show. Myself and the spa guy is hosting Ronald Smith for the first time ever for Elvis fans on Friday morning, January the 7th at 8 a.m. We're going to serve free coffee, we're going to serve free pastries, and you're going to sit there at the dojo where Elvis trained karate with Master Kung Ri and learn stories about Elvis and one of his friends before he goes to Sun Records and records That's All Right Mama, Ronald Smith. Ronald was a musician back in the day. Elvis wanted to be a musician, so he became friends with Ronnie Smith after meeting him at a party. You're going to learn all about it, and you're going to learn some incredible things you've never heard before about Elvis Presley. I guarantee it. This event at the Tiger Man will be one of the best, I guarantee, of all Elvis Birthday Week 2022. So get your tickets right now after you watch this show by pressing the link in this video description. It will take you to the Tiger Man ticket link. I can't wait to see you at the Tiger Man Karate Dojo and Museum Friday morning, January the 7th at 8 a.m. Start off that Friday in Memphis, and meet one of Elvis Presley's friend that you don't know about. It's going to be a fun day. I'll be there. Can't wait to see you. Now, guys, go get your popcorn ready, because today's show is going to be a great one. Stay tuned. So we're over here at the gates of Graceland, and Mr. Smith, you have a you have a pretty cool Graceland story to, to share with us, don't you? Well, yeah. <laughs> we uh, before when Ellis first moved down here, and he didn't invite him to come down here for when he, after he had bought it, and uh, um, there wasn't this 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 is about one of the only places on this highway that was here and uh, was Miss Gracie's house and uh, this whole area then was developed started development people leaving South Memphis and uh, coming south and uh, even as far as uh, South Haven because that I can remember when there's only one or two houses there. So tell me about the first time you went inside Graceland. Oh, uh, well, uh, like I said, I was invited down here and they didn't have any furniture. And uh, two or three of my South Side buddies was hired by Elvis and they got $100 a week for going here, going there, doing this, doing that, and uh, whatever uh, he wanted. And uh, so uh, George Klein was down here a lot. And uh, anyway, so I I went down here with a friend and and there wasn't any uh, furniture before he'd gotten furniture put in or anything, floors was bare. And uh, so I roller skated, uh, and nobody wanted to because uh, they did it before down here and said, I'm still sore from uh, playing. It's just rough housing and popped whips and all that kind of thing. And uh, so uh, Elvis usually was asleep. And when one, you know, uh, I, I just genuinely wanted you know come down and see him but uh anyway i could see like i said a couple of these guys i knew and uh from old south side and uh, he had hired them and uh anyway so we sat around the wall and uh talked and whatnot and waiting for elvis to get up but uh uh anyway i sat there and i thought and uh He's going to think I'm, I'm one of these gophers here. So 
Anyway, I didn't, I quit coming down here, but that don't mean I didn't keep seeing him, you know. But, yeah. uh, uh, I, I just got to thinking maybe he'd get the wrong idea, you know. Well, that's great. It's great that you have uh, that story of that first time seeing Graceland without any furniture. Oh, yeah. I they, mean, no, I not know. many people and can say that. Roller skating down there playing rough house. And yeah. pop, and I remember so, we, roller skating, was it inside the house or out? Uh, inside the house. Inside, yeah, like just on, in? on the floors there yeah. before everything was... Before they had furniture. And yeah. you said Elvis made some kind of thing about they want he wanted he people to come up, find, find him. Stairs. Well, find before him. we uh, for this is over on Audubon, Audubon. and uh, he when he told me because people come to buy his house, but uh, anyway he uh, said that uh, uh, he had bought this place down here, didn't nobody know, he said, but uh, uh, and I think he said the taxes was $93,000, it was a lot of money, and uh, anyway, and it just being Elvis and making kind of a joke uh, out of him, he said, I'll just open the door, he said, I'll just open the doors and let them try and find me, you know. Meaning about the uh, how big the house how is. big the house was uh, yeah. stories you know and I mean it had uh, I know back here some fella I was sitting right up the street here in an all night uh, uh, coffee house uh, up there on the corner and uh, uh, they always come rushing in down there and looking around and I asked him what somebody had uh, he had come home Elvis did from somewhere he had a, a couple of old cars that so nobody would recognize him and him and the crew would get in and maybe a girlfriend and uh, uh, which is usually a Hollywood actress and uh, so uh, so he'd come back and the fellow was sitting uh, around back and uh, said, who are you? And uh, what are you doing here? What are you doing in my house, you know? And uh, I think he'd ended up stealing some of his uh, lawn furniture around there or oh, no. something other like that. And he was going to, he's running around uh, by himself trying to find him, you know? So. Uh, Anyway, and that was Elvis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, but uh, I had a friend that uh, was a drummer and uh, played with Bill and Bill Black and and uh, Scotty uh, Moore. Uh, gone on tour with them. And uh, but anyway, he uh, he was. There were a lot of characters back then, and I, uh, but anyway, uh, and uh, he went upstairs. Elvis sent him prior to this. He was already going to Memphis State and uh, uh, had, uh, I don't know if he was, I think he was a sophomore at that time or junior, but anyway, uh, and uh, he got kind of stage struck. He went with a friend down here who was hired by Elvis and uh, they didn't do nothing. Well, uh, he, is, he is such a character that uh, he'd get your attention and uh, just being himself. And uh, uh, so Elvis, Elvis talked him into uh, Stan, when he was going to buy a place, which he did out in uh, Hollywood, out there out in Los Angeles, he uh, uh, asked him to go out there because he's already been hired, and uh, this is one of his first assignments out there to uh, get things ready for everybody and for him. Uh, for his uh, other house out there, and uh, which he did. But uh, one day he was, uh, 
uh, like I said, he he was a likable guy and, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, made your day a lot of times. But he went to get Elvis up, had time to get up, and he got him by his toes and was pregnant. Well, that done it. Elvis <laughs> uh, either had a hangover or whatever, <laughs> or something or other. He got up on. He was pulled out on the wrong side of the bed, for one thing, and he fired him. And uh, anyway, and got rid of him and called down here and told uh, uh, Vester not to ever let him. He didn't want to ever see him again, you know. And uh, he was serious and uh, mad. And uh, so uh, uh, Wayne left and uh, he got into promoting uh, bands and uh, he worked with uh, uh, Memphis's showboat and their hockey team. Oh yeah. Uh, they had a uh, office under the viaduct out there by the fairgrounds uh, and uh, by the airways. They're on off airways, but yeah. Southern I think runs under there, right there, and uh, so. But anyway, uh, <laughs> that's great. That's a great story. Yeah. Let's go to the next one. So I hope you enjoyed that episode with Ronald Smith here on Glow Trotting with Trey. This is why I do this, to meet people like he that knew Elvis and can teach us a little bit more about the real guy, the real Mr. Tiger, the real Elvis Presley. Please consider, if you're going to be in Memphis, Tennessee, to meet Ronnie Smith and myself and the spa guy on Friday morning. January the 7th, 2022, at the Tiger Man Karate Dojo and Museum. We'll have free coffee, as I said, free pastries, and you're going to learn all of Runny's stories there at the Tiger Man. I can't wait to see you there. It's going to be a fun event. Great way to start off that Friday morning, January the 7th, in Memphis, Tennessee. Get your tickets right now in the link below this video. It'll take you to the ticket link at the Tiger Man, and I can't wait to see you there. Guys, Please, if you, if you like this effort that I put together today on this video, give me a thumbs up. Share it to your Elvis friends. And until next time, I really appreciate you, definitely from the bottom of my heart for watching and the support and the comments. But until next time, I'll see you in Memphis, Tennessee, and I'll see you down the road on YouTube. Thanks for watching.